Hi, I'm Shreya. I'm ambassador for TPW department. I wanted to be an ambassador because I was looking for internship and it kind of piqued my interest. And I was also interested to know like how city runs. So I think it was overall a good experience. I got like hands-on experience. I worked with the business support team and I got to make like a story map and dashboard for the team and I think it was so cool. Overall, it was a good experience. I learned a lot of things, but I think the thing that I learned the most is like how to behave in, an profession, in a professional setting, how to really talk in a professional manner, how to behave in an office setting. My name is Abigail Garcia and I'm an ambassador for the Municipal Court, assigned to Teen Court. My name is Anastasia Roman Morales. I'm an ambassador with the Municipal Court, also assigned to Teen Court. As a rising senior and getting ready to graduate, um, I was really looking forward to finding an internship or a job, anything that would give me any professional experience. And I was really happy to come across this opportunity that was not only a paid experience, but I would have the opportunity to work in the courts which would allow me to get a better understanding of the legal systems, the courts, um, and hopefully help me kind of explore legal careers as I'm getting ready to apply for law school. I want to study political science when I get into college, and I really just wanted to explore all of my options within that realm, and I just wanted to get some experience under my belt, like not just like face value experience, but actually something that was going to help me actually think about what I want to do with my future and stuff that was going to equip me for my future. I think for me the biggest impact I had was just having the opportunity to not just network but to also build connections. Um, my mentor is very involved in our, our learning plan and she coordinated lots of opportunities for us to meet with different departments and learn from them and I think just having that opportunity seeing different aspects of the core um, and how they all come together to to help serve our community was so impactful for me. I just want to say thank you to our mentor and all of the staff and all of the HR business partners who helped to make this experience as amazing as it was. Um, and just they helped to make us feel motivated to come back each week to continue learning. And we hope to be able to take all of the skills and the gains that we earned from this experience and apply them in our future careers. They showed us a lot of flexibility and they showed us what a workplace should look like rather than how it is portrayed in movies or it being to this or to that. They showed us what structure with love and flexibility and care is meant to look like. I'm Brian Rivas and I'm a department with Developmental Services. I was brought to this program, it was brought to my attention from my peers and mentors in high school and they understood my character and capabilities and saw this as a perfect opportunity for me and I decided to take full advantage of it. So far what I've learned in my department are the aspects regarding engineering and development of city infrastructure and how multiple departments can work together coherently on a single project, whether that be with an industrial, residential, or commercial developer. I'd say the biggest impact that it made on me is having an exposure to the workplace environment and getting an understanding of how the maintenance and improvements to city infrastructure are taking place here at City Hall, and also professional development as well, being able to work with teams on projects and how to work with different types of people on a different series of tasks. If there's one thing I've learned throughout this program is that good character, grit, and attitude surpass most skills and qualifications. Because with good character, grit, and attitude, those skills and qualifications become easily attainable. And so the workplace environment here is very welcoming. And no matter what walk of life you come from, you will be welcomed here. for the city manager's office and the mayor's office. I've always been interested in government. Um, I have been in a 
government program before. Um, so I just wanted to learn more about the relationship between the governmental decisions and its citizens. So far, I've learned that the city is very connected, that all, depend, uh, all departments really work with each other, um, either for a simple decision or a decision that could affect the city and the future of the city. Um, I would definitely say ask questions and don't be afraid of the new opportunities. Um, some of the tasks may seem a little daunting, but always be excited to do new work and work with different people. I think it's a great program to join. Um, it gives you a lot of opportunities and an inside look on how local government really works, especially in a big city like Fort Worth. My name is Edwin Fernandez and I am an ambassador for the Neighborhood Services Department. I am Samara Schultz and I am also an ambassador for the Neighborhood Services Department. I wanted to apply for this program because I've had an interest in local government and I thought that this was a great way to get my foot in the door. One of the things that I think has impacted me or that I'm going to take with me is what exactly Neighborhood Services is. Um, I came in having absolutely no clue what this department did or what they stood for, but seeing the people in CAP Online and CAP in general um, help people with utility assistance and rental assistance has brought a newfound appreciation for what the government, or more so the city of Fort Worth, does. I would just echo what Edwin said and say that it's given me some more knowledge about how the government works and what the employees are doing because I think sometimes you hear that the government is very slow and that maybe people aren't doing their jobs to their fullest capacity, but I know here at the CAP offices everyone is working to fullest capacity. So it's just given me more perspective and a newfound respect for those workers. Elijah DeLeon and I'm an ambassador for the Environmental Services Department. I'm Sarek Timsina and I'm with Environmental Services. My family members actually uh, are, like recommended me to this program and I thought it was a really good opportunity. So I was just looking through Google, applying to any and every internship I could find and I found this one and I was like it sounded cool with like all these different departments and so yeah I just hit apply and got an interview. I had no idea that like the city had so many components and they all work together flawlessly, 24 hours a day, 365. You usually think of it like as the earth or like air, land, water, but like there's so much more that goes in there, like food inspections, pool, ins pool inspections. I've learned so much more than I ever thought I would, and so just to grow up on those skills. Uh, something I hope to learn is just more about this field because it's something I'm really interested in. And everyone is here to help you, so if you just ask them questions, they'll get in touch with other people. There's so many opportunities that you wouldn't even think of when you first read the job description. I say I really like the people. Like The people you meet when you're going to be here in this program is going to be like lifelong people you always know. Everyone wants you to succeed, and I feel like you can't really find that in many workplaces, so the people you'll meet here are just amazing. So if you get the chance, apply. You'll meet some amazing people. Hi, my name is uh, Jacob Phipps, and I am part of the Human Resources, I'm working at a library. The reason for me applying to this program is I saw the opportunity and how I, it can better me for the future and for my career and stuff like that, and help me get a better job. And I thought it'd just be fun and make my parents proud of me. What I've learned so far is how to do the Dewey Decimal System, and then uh, I've learned how to 3D design. I've made about two designs, a castle and a little dude. I love using the 3D printer. It's really uh, impacted me a lot because it's just, I've never worked on one before and it's really cool to work on one now. The advice I would give for future ambassadors that are thinking about doing this program is that they should do it. It has bettered me for a whole bunch of reasons and I would say just do this program. It, it's for the better. I would say get to know your coworkers and build a relationship with them. Ask questions, ask for help. They understand that you're new and they're willing to help out and they just want you to feel comfortable and safe and just welcome there. My name is Kira Nan, and I am a next-gen ambassador for the city of Fort Worth in the Human Resources Department. I wanted to apply to be an ambassador because I was really had an interest in city and local government, 
and I really wanted to get some experience in the field and meet people that could help mentor and teach me about things that I could be doing in the future. From this program, I really hope to learn more about the city that I live in and some ways that the city helps its citizens and just in general, getting to make those connections with people in the field and getting to learn more about myself and what I wanna do in the future while also learning from people that have experience in the field. Personally, I would recommend when going into your interview just being yourself and being open about what you hope to learn from the program, being open with yourself and honest with yourself on what departments you're interested in, and really just going in with an open mind because there's a lot of departments within the city, so just being open to different, learning from different people, learning from different departments, and just making the most of your time in the program. My name is Keyshawn Patrick and I'm an ambassador for the HR department. My sister, she emailed me the link she saw on Facebook and I was just like, oh, here goes another thing that she just wants me to do. But I actually looked into it and I saw that it was like, you know, every day for eight weeks and, you know, it was 20 hours and, you know, I, had, I just saw it as a good opportunity to get experience in the work field and it turns out it's been a really, really fun blast so far. So I'll say what I've learned so far is that there's a whole bunch of departments that work to create one goal of that. That's to help the people, save the people, whether you know that's with their health or their benefits. And then I would say what I would want to learn is just more about HR overall and just learn about the city of Fort Worth and how I could be an asset to the, to the city. I would say that it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And um, you know, this one thing that I would definitely say for sure that you would want to do because um, even if you don't do this in the future you can always say it was a good opportunity and you always have something to fall back on if you maybe want to come back to Fort, City of Fort Worth and work then you're kind of familiar with some people because I would say um, I've learned that most of these people here have like been here for a long time so it's a very it's a very good community. My name is Layla Gamble and I'm an ambassador for the fire department. I decided to apply for the Next Gen Ambassador program because my counselor sent out some information and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and really find a pathway for me to determine what career choice I wanted to go into. So far, I've learned about the many working parts behind planning and emergency management and response in the city and I've also learned just to better communicate and work with others in order to achieve a common goal. My advice for anyone looking to apply next year would be just to go for it. Get out of your comfort zone. You never know what you're capable of until you really put yourself out there and try. Hello, my name is Law Parr and I am the ambassador for the Development Services Department. I hear about like office jobs, the typical nine to five jobs and how boring they are, you know, it's like just nothing out of the ordinary, but it's, it's not boring at all, it's fun. I'm surrounded by a lot of people right now and all of them actually, they have this like wealth of knowledge and it's just, I hope that uh, kind of transferred to me at least a little bit or a good amount. I'm majoring in civil engineering, so this is perfect for me. They matched me up really good. Well, here I am and I love it. My name is Liliana Granados and I am in Development Services. I first heard about this actually through my mom. She works for the city herself and she got some information and decided to pass it along to me and then I looked into it and then it seemed like a really good opportunity just because I am looking for like my career right now, like something long term to be steady in. Um, so I looked into this program and it seemed like a good fit. Overall, I've learned about what development services is and like what it does, what it applies to. Not everything 
that I expected being in this program was something that I already knew coming into. Like everything is brand new. Like every day was something different. I learned a lot of different skills, like good note taking skills, good observing skills, listening skills, just being in a lot of different meetings, meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, being able to communicate with them, asking questions, and as well as networking, I feel like I made not necessarily personal relationships, but like just good like work relationships, maybe in the future just because these people have been really nice and like basically say like, just come to me if you have any questions, making themselves available to me and any questions or needs that I have during this program. Nicole. I am currently an ambassador for the mayor's office and the city manager's office. I joined the ambassador program because I am interested in gaining professional insight while working with local government and I think it pertains to my major because I am an economics major and I do want to know more about the economic development. And what a better way to gain insight into professionalism and my future career path and to be where the economic development happens here in the mayor's office and the city manager's office. I hope to walk away with, of course, more developed skills, more professionalism, definitely developed skills. I feel like there is a lot of important people you can ask questions to, take advantage of the resources that are given to you. Of course, I'm, I'm so glad I joined. Um, while I wasn't familiar with the program, I think just asking questions and just doing your own research sometimes very like helps, it got me here. I am Rachel Amorabe and I am an ambassador for Neighborhood Services. Um, one thing my parents had always stressed was the importance of an internship and I didn't fully see why it was an important part of getting into colleges, getting into the workforce until I joined. I started the interview and the application process and I realized this would be my first actual job, my first work experience. And I mean, there's nothing more invaluable than that. I've learned the importance of local government. The thing that I see paraded around the most is big federal government, but it's really all of the different local governments working together and all of the different sectors of local government working together that builds what you will see most immediately. From your streets to security in your neighborhoods to how nice your basketball courts are by your community center, all of that is your local small government from your other ambassadors to your mentors to just people you'll see in these hallways. Everyone here is doing their best to make our city better. Hi, my name is Reagan Dash and I'm a next gen ambassador for the city of Fort Worth for code compliance and I'm specializing more in the animal control department. Um, so I was looking at like a bunch of different internship opportunities like for this summer and the city of Fort Worth kind of caught my eye. I'm a minor in marketing. When I'm done with college, I want to do marketing. This caught my eye and they didn't really have like a marketing position, like focus position, but they were able to put me with code compliance and I'm working kind of with like the marketing and like media specialists. Um, they're media specialist persons. So I'm able to like do like kind of marketing for animal control to like kind of get the animals adopted out and like help with foster events and like social media posts with that so it's been really rewarding. So in these past three weeks I've learned a lot about like social media posts to help a business and like the marketing standpoint and how to like professionally like communicate and you know, give better like customer service when dealing with clientele and things like that and how to professionally respond to somebody when you have problems or conflict arise especially online and then also um, helping to build clientele through a website so I've done like a lot of research like looking at other animal controls such as like Dallas's, New York's, Los Angeles and looking at ours and looking at how to like better our pages to better help our community in Fort Worth and help to get our animals adopted out faster. I'm Sky Panaligan and I'm from the IT Solutions Department. 
What made me apply was I was just scrolling on everything and trying to find every opportunity that I could. And then I found this amazing opportunity, which led me to be right here. What I learned through this experience is that there's many different departments, which I didn't even know were like a thing. But what I hope to take away from this experience was just meeting a lot of new people and networking, which was really important to me. I want to be able to expand myself and I want to market myself to be able to hopefully find something in the near future. And it was important for me to take a lot away from this experience and being able to be open and learn a lot was really important to me as well and it was just a really helpful experience. I think this program was really beneficial and helpful since I'm in college right now. It's really helpful for me to be able to experience what it's like to be in the IT field. My name is Yao Asayama, and I'm an ambassador for the IT Solutions Department. I had been looking for an internship that I would be able to, you know, further my knowledge and my tool set in specifically IT. So when I came across this opportunity, I seen the um, job responsibility, I seen the opportunity and what exactly it entails. And I told myself it kind of matched what I, what I was looking for. So I went ahead and applied. Um, thankfully, I got it. Um, so I would say that's, that's what drew me towards it. Um, basically seeing the opportunity to be able to connect with professionals and being able to just further my tool set in ITs. I've learned a lot. So I was in operations first day. Um, that was, you know, obviously all the video surveillance cameras monitoring throughout the whole city. I um, was in security, so learning tools like CrowdStrike, Devo, Splunk, certain tools that I was already kind of knowledge with, but I was able to become more familiar and see how exactly it applies to the real world and how exactly it applies to the workplace. So the, the, just learning those few things, you know, actually learning how to operate in the workplace, learning how the city culture is. I um, say so that's, that's a big thing that I learned since being here. What I hope to learn is just more tools, um, more skills with me within myself and also professional as well. It's a very unique opportunity. It's not a lot of cities that offer this opportunity. So. I'm thankful to the city of Fort Worth for giving us this opportunity as young professionals to connect with other professionals as well and just allowing us to become better people in the workplace and also within ourselves as well. Mm -hmm.